Matthew, thank you for being here with me this morning. Thank you for having me, Jenna. All right, Matthew, now this is one of AIDS Help's biggest events of the year. I think it's about the third largest. And I mentioned to our viewers that this is a two-day bike ride. They're going to be completing 165 miles which is a lot. <laughs> How are they splitting this up? Yes, it's a two-day bike ride from Miami to Key West, and the riders actually stop in Hawks Cay overnight to have dinner and sort of um, reconvene with each other before ending the ride here in Key West. Matthew, the Smart Ride is a statewide organization, but it's important to know that a, a portion of the proceeds will be benefiting AIDS help. That is correct, Jenna. The Smart Ride the Smart Ride is an organization that, that has participants from all over Florida. There are seven agencies representing the state. AIDS Help represents Key West and Monroe County as a participant in the Smart Ride. So AIDS Help will be getting the money, and then how do they spend the money, Matthew? Correct. AIDS Help spends a portion of the funding from the Smart Ride directly on client services. 100% of the money the agency receives from the Smart Ride is spent on the clients. So whether that's pharmaceutical co-pays, insurance co-pays, emergency housing solutions, anything to directly benefit the client is how the funding is spent. And this is the 10th annual event. So Matthew, what's been the response in the past from participants? Well, this is a very exciting year. It's the 10th anniversary of the Smart Ride and AIDS Help is a legacy participant. We're the only participant who has been involved with the Smart Ride for all 10 years. What's more exciting is that the Smart Ride as a whole this year has the banner goal of raising a million dollars to give back to the community of Florida. A million dollars, that's pretty incredible. And I know that it's definitely attainable because last year you raised almost $900,000, correct? That is correct. Okay, for, for all of Florida. And then again, a portion of that will go to AIDS Health. Matthew, are you able to participate in this year's event? I participate as much as I can, whether that's cheering on my family and friends who arrive in the events or helping them build bike racks or whatever, whatever it's needed, I'm there to do. Okay, and now if people want to bike, you know, be one of the bikers, can they still sign up or is that already full? Unfortunately, registration is closed this year. We sold out in roughly five months after opening. However, people can still volunteer in Key West and come down to the pier to see the closing finale and, and just cheer the riders on as they enter Monroe County. That's almost just as important, definitely, Absolutely. you know, to have some cheerleaders, to have some people rooting them on, because 165 miles, that has to be exhausting. Right, and, and we're a, in a unique space in the Keys, and so it's, it's great to have the whole community come out and welcome these riders on into our, our community and show our support and, and know that, you know, it makes a difference not only for us here, but across the state of Florida. Absolutely. It's all going towards a wonderful cause. Matthew, thank you so much for being on with me. Thank you for time. having me, Jenna. If you want more information on the Smart Ride, just check out the info that you see on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be right back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone. If I, I